Well, I mean, uh, the effort's definitely there. I mean, it's been, uh, it's been a, uh, a long week and a half, but like I told the girls, right? I mean, these are the moments that, uh, that you got to keep grinding and keep working. Uh, that includes the coaches uh, to make us better to get ready for conference. And uh, we did some good things offensively today, which was a, a good sign because we haven't had that in the last couple games. But we did create enough chances to win this game today, but at crucial moments made mistakes that uh, Bowling, give Bowling Green credit. They punished it, punished us for those mistakes. And, uh, you know, when it was two to one, we kind of went into a different formation. And, uh, you know, we were chasing the game a little bit to try to score and, and tie the game up. And uh, they got that third goal, which uh, was crucial. But we even had chances when it was three to one. I think Felicia hit the post on a breakaway and came close on a couple set pieces. So. You know, we're doing some good things offensively now, which is a good sign, but, uh, you know, we got to get, uh, you know, we have about five or six players are consistently giving us that effort, and we have to, we have to, our team has to have 11 to 13 players are consistently. Well, I've always felt that, you know, if you're a freshman and, and uh, you get these games, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Uh, you don't really, you know, they get used to the speed of play, how physical it is, and, and what's necessary to be uh a quality Division One player, and uh, you, you know we're getting that out of Kelly and Rachel Russo and uh, Olivia Para. Uh, you know, Caitlin Carroll wasn't in our program last year, so we have got about five or six new faces in our program now that we're still trying to figure out uh, where the best spot is for them. But uh, that experience is huge. Uh, you might not think so right now if you're losing games, but down the road it's going to be beneficial for our program.